and that comes back to our word. Again, people have no idea. You know, you know, people say, okay, yes, in the Bible it talks about, you know, God was is within us. We are God. Whatever it is, whatever it's because God is within us. However, in the beginning was the word, and the word was God. So when you really look at that, it becomes so incredibly serious because we are only as good as our word. That's we it. are only as good as our weakest promise. That's it. It's That's powerful. pretty serious. Because it's you see serious. people all the time just shooting their mouth off, saying this and saying that, and they're not even intending to keep that. Yeah, yeah. They just put anything out there, and they don't really realize how powerful the words are. The word is. The word. And, and, and you know, you know something interesting. Um, there's a, a a verse in the Bible that says, "By your word, you'll be justified," or "By your word, you'll be condemned." And there's something really interesting. They've done this research on. Um, so when you speak the words, your, your, your ears hear them. Yes. When you yes. think the words, your ears don't hear them. You're just thinking. Yes. It's a whole different scenario. A whole different scenario. But when you, when you, they have found that when you say people that say the, say words all the time, make promises that they don't, they're not going to keep. Maybe they intend to, maybe they don't, but they don't keep them. Whatever the case over and over and over. It actually comes to the point where you don't trust yourself at all. Your right. body doesn't trust anything you say because yeah. you say it, but you don't do it. Right, right. So Very when you important. get in that scenario, your body doesn't even, it, it. when you say something, technically your cells are saying, oh, that's BS. <laughs> it's not even, right. because right. because you're of your pattern. Right. So people don't even understand that they dig themselves into all these problems with their words. Right, right. You're training your psyche, training your spirit, your body to adapt to whatever you say or don't say. Like, if you go, if you go uh, two days, well, if you're in the habit of eating at noon, your body is waiting to yep. eat at noon. But if you go three, four, five days, it adapts. It's like, oh, okay, I'm not going to eat. I'm not going to eat at noon anymore. It, it's mm -hmm. just, you're training it. Yeah. And uh, the word is the most powerful thing in doing that. Yeah. So I've seen those people, I've seen this happen so many times where these type of people start learning about affirmations and start learning about manifesting and they can't figure out why it doesn't work. But they're still, on the other hand, making all these, oh, I'll do this and do this and do this and never intend to do it, never do it at all. Right. How are they going to manifest anything when on their daily life to their children, to their neighbors, to whoever it is, they're saying all these things but not keeping them. Your your manif it's not going to manifest anything because your body doesn't even believe anything you're saying. <laughs> wow, wow, yeah, we don't even we're not even taught that. Like we just say these things, being a man of your word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's deeper. It's deeper than just somebody trusting you. Yeah, it's you trusting you. It's you trusting you. That's the foundation. <laughs> when you trust yeah. you, it will generate trust in other people. Believe it or not. So, so if we find, if we find that people aren't trusting us, we need to seriously look inside because we're not trusting ourselves, and they're just mirroring us. Mm, yeah. It's, it, it, they don't even probably even know why. No. <laughs> yeah. You hadn't even manifested or done anything tangibly to say, don't trust me, but it's the energy. Right. It is energy. And it's wow. like, you're. Your vibration is saying, I can't be trusted because you're not trusting yourself. And generally that comes back, not trusting yourself generally comes back to not keeping your word to yourself. Even something as simple as, oh, you know, um, I'm going to change my diet. I'm going to, I'm going to be careful. I'm going to do this and do that. You're saying that to yourself and then comes mealtime and you say, oh, and I forget it. Oh, now your body goes, oh, I heard you say that this morning, but you decided not to. Wow. Yeah, Literally that's building distrust within you of yourself. Wow, and that's that's breaking the covenant, and uh, huh? yeah, and, and 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 actually, you know, we don't talk about this enough. That's really infidelity. People just think about sex like <laughs> being infidelity, right. but breaking the covenant, you know, uh, going against the word you gave yourself, 
Like we do it all. You know, the time. You know <laughs> I've taught trust law for years, and breach of trust is the most serious thing you can have in trust law. Wow. Breach of trust is a serious crime. Now, literally, that's what you're doing to yourself is you are breaching your own trust. And they say that the karma from breaching your own trust is almost worse than if you kill somebody. I mean, that's hard to imagine, but if you stop and think about it. Wow. Whoa. Wow. Breaching your own trust. Yeah, I mean, because the word is so powerful. Just from the word, you can change someone's life and they're going another direction. And yeah. Yeah, they're going you to know, partnership. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. Think about a scenario. Think about this scenario where, um, let's say you call somebody. It doesn't matter what it is or whatever. You're like, okay, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'll meet you tomorrow at such and such a time or I'll call you tomorrow at such and such a time. All right, it's a deal. And so maybe they put it on their calendar. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. See, what I found for myself is, especially if you're super busy, when you make your word, you better put a reminder because you'll forget. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I learned that. You have to hold. And, and literally, that's holding yourself accountable. That's self-discipline. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, again, again, the self-discipline part is so important for keeping to the purpose that you're, you know, we don't always know our whole purpose. We don't usually know our whole purpose. It's like we're revealed our purpose on this planet little by little as we establish trust within ourselves that we can do this, that we can almost like you have to build trust. You have to build trust within yourself, just like you have to build trust with other people. Wow. That trust and covenant, the handshake, the agreement. Wow. That's so important. And it all starts within ourselves. Mm-hmm. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, go to www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. That's www.angel2angelhelp.org and donate. We provide services for the homeless, the mentally ill, the elderly, and the youth.